On our morning show from WRCO and WRCE, we're here with Pastor Jonathan Young of the Nazarene Church here in Richland Center, uh, which must mean it's getting close to Christmas. Good morning. How are you, Jonathan? Good morning, Phil. Thanks for having me. Well, it's a wonderful time of year, obviously, and I know you're you're getting geared up for the many things that your church will be doing, but I think you, first of all, want to talk about the Christmas dinner that you've provided now for, for many years for your church. Yeah, this is actually the 36th annual uh, Christmas Day dinner that our church has done, and it is a uh, free meal for anybody in the community. Uh, we offer delivery, pickup, or you can dine in with us. Um, if you just don't have a place to go on Christmas Day, we'd love to have you and, and share that time with you. That's wonderful. So can people get their reservations in now? Yes, from from here until we're we're hoping to get everybody's reservation in by the twenty third of December, and uh, and so you would just need to call this number. It's six four seven six zero nine four. That's six four seven. Six zero nine four, and if you call uh, during the, we, we ask that you call during the daytime hours and not, you know, at midnight or something, um, and just leave a message uh, with whether or not you would like it to be delivered to your house, and if so, we would need your name and address and how many meals. Um, if you would like to pick it up at the church, then just say that how many meals that you would need and then someone will give you a call back uh, to let you know what time to be there we have a couple different time slots so that not everybody is crowding the parking lot at one time and uh or, or if you're going to be dining in just let us know how many people are coming so we know how many to expect and uh yeah we'd love to have you what is the radius of deliveries jonathan uh we typically go about three miles out of uh richland center the town of richland center um there are times that we make exceptions but it, we try to typically keep within that three mile radius do you have plenty of volunteers uh yeah we usually have quite a few people that come out on christmas day to volunteer even a lot of people from our community that that don't attend our church uh, make this their kind of annual tradition for them or their family and uh, if you would like to volunteer and just bless your community you can do that uh, you can call that same number that i mentioned and just let just leave a message saying that you're interested in volunteering and somebody will get back with you and and talk about what times would be best and and what we need help with wonderful time to volunteer and i think too there some people maybe they celebrate earlier maybe over the weekend or maybe the following weekend so if you're not doing anything you don't have specific plans it's a good opportunity isn't it definitely yeah everybody has their own christmas christmas traditions with with families and uh, we have a lot of folks from our church that have traditions on on sunday that keep them from being able to help but we have a a lot of people also uh, that that just have made this their annual tradition do you take donations for the meal um yes we we do i mean the the meal is free of charge and and there is no money asked for um but there are many people who do give donations and what if if you do we just put that into next year's meal um just to help offset offset that cost yeah, in terms of in, uh, ingredients and things like that, uh, you know, how does the church put it on? How do you how do you make it happen? Then? Uh, we have a lot of great uh, volunteers and leaders from our church that um, that do this. That they place orders. They go out to Madison and other places to to pick up the supplies needed. Um, the the styrofoam trays that we give out the food um and each meal consists it's, it's a wonderful meal each meal consists of uh, ham turkey and then all the trimmings green beans mashed potatoes uh, a dessert uh, either a pie or a cake um, and so it's a it's a hefty meal uh, for everybody gets and yeah, that truly is yeah. sounds like a wonderful christmas meal so yeah. so people uh you know in terms of COVID, i think that kind of slowed things down a little bit but i think it's it's kind of picked up probably was a little bit back to normal last year wasn't it yeah we had a little bit more people in person so um when COVID hit uh it threw us for a loop like it did for everybody you know and and uh for a couple years we only did delivery and or takeout um just to you know keep the social distancing and all that but um now that we're back into in person uh last year we had a little bit more uh, people in person um and we're hoping to get even more this year um but but we're finding that you know because of covid there's a lot more people since then that 
are just as happy to have it delivered or, or picked up. But um, but I want to encourage everyone that we are open and we would love to to spend that time with you because sometimes um, a warm meal is nice to have, but even better yet is that conversation and that fellowship with with another human that just to talk and and share that time sure. together. The fellowship's important too, isn't it? Yes, definitely. Well, let's talk about uh, the Church of the Nazarene a little bit. Uh, how, how long have you been the pastor? Uh, I've been here for about five and a half years. It was 2018 that that um, we were called to, to be the pastor here, and it's been a great great time for me and my family, and uh, it's been a privilege to, to lead the congregation and, and to preach and to pastor. Um, it's a great community, Richland Center is. It really is. Um, nice small town and uh, just a great camaraderie among the community and it's it's really good to be here where had you served before were there bigger communities where you were a part of uh before moving here i was we lived in sioux city iowa which was definitely a bigger community um and then before that we were in missouri uh for a little bit so this is our, our my third assignment as pastor. Church communities tend to be giving, but I think we, we're pretty proud of Richland Center area. There's a lot of really uh, giving people here, aren't there? Yes, yes. Our, the, the Church of the Nazarene, but also the community uh, is very generous, I have found, uh, with the different uh, offerings or, or different special needs that come up. Um, I've always been very surprised at the generosity of the people. Do you have a, a youth group at the church? Yes, we do. Uh, we do have a, a youth group that meets on Sunday evenings at six o'clock uh, for you know Bible study and a meal and and uh, and then there's we have a lot of events. Our our denomination, the Church of the Nazarene, um, the Wisconsin District has quite a bit of events. Actually, we have an event coming up in January called Winter Retreat, and uh, we we head up north to a, a camp and they can ski and. A snowboard and and do all that that, that kind of stuff, and then also hear uh, some good messages uh, from scripture. Do you get involved in the skiing then too, or, or not? Oh, it, well, it's well, over a weekend, so I haven't oh. been able to go myself yet. <laughs> uh, but we got to work. Have, yeah, we do have some chaperones that that take our teens up, and and the winter retreat actually for our church is is usually a pretty big event. We we typically have a dozen or more uh, teens that go up there. Okay. The meal that we're talking about, too, you're going to be serving that in the Nazarene, uh, the Outreach Center there? Yeah, uh, yeah. So 36 years ago, um, when when it first started, it, it was served in the, the basement of the pastor's house, which is where our fellowship hall was. Okay. And, and then, um, but when we bought the building that has now become the Nazarene Outreach Center, uh, that has been a big blessing, uh, I think, not only to our church, but to our community. Um, several different people have rented it over the years for birthday parties, graduation parties, uh, family reunions. Um, so that has been a blessing. It gives us more space to cook, more more space to uh, to have people in. Um, and it's just a really, uh, really sp- neat space conducive for, for fellowship and family and friends. Yeah. Lots of people have used that, as you mentioned. Uh, do they yeah. contact the church if they're interested in, in using that as a space? Yeah. You can email the church at rcnaz360 at gmail.com, or you can call the church. Uh, the church number is 647-4724. Um, and there's a, a small rental fee uh, involved with that. Um, but yeah, it's it's used quite a bit. It's It's uh, it, it's usually rare where we have a weekend where it's not being used for something. Uh, so that that's definitely been a blessing. The church probably has to fight to, to get the use of it sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, we kind of plan our things ahead. And, and if we have something going on, we make sure we don't we don't rent it out on those days. But yeah. Do you do some other community meals during the year at the, at the center there? Um, no, this is the only one that that we that we do right now annually. Okay. And so it's kind of the big push for that and, yep. and, and, and working toward that. So um, you're going to be having, of course, with Christmas falling on Monday, it's a little bit different for, for all churches because uh, that weekend before you're going to be pretty busy too, aren't you? Yeah. Um, so Sunday, the uh, Christmas Eve, I almost said New Year's okay. Eve there, uh, Christmas Eve on, on Sunday the 24th, uh, we'll be having our regular morning worship service in the morning at 10 o'clock. Uh, but then Sunday night, we'll also be having a second service. It's our uh, Christmas Eve candlelight service that we have every year. 
Uh, that's usually a big event for our community as well, where we recount the story of the, the birth of Jesus and, and we sing, you know, some traditional Christmas carols and hymns and, and we end with a, kind of a candlelight, time of candlelight um, singing and and praying and then we head out. Means a little bit more, those hymns on Christmas Eve with candlelights, doesn't it? Yes, definitely. Seems like it, yeah. So I know that uh, people, everybody's welcome all the time to your services, but especially that's a big community event, uh, your, your candlelight on Christmas Eve, right? Yeah, um, I, I think I mentioned this, but um, yeah, there's a lot of people from our community that don't attend our church. Maybe they go to another church or um, they're just from the community that have made this a tradition for their family that on Christmas Eve they they head over and just spend that time, that service with us. Uh, on Christmas Eve. And maybe you said, but what time is the service on Christmas Eve? Uh, the Christmas Eve service will be at 5 o'clock. Okay. So then you get rested up to serve the meal the next day. That's then. right. <laughs> <laughs> and some of our folks get up pretty early to get that going. So I bet they do. And then you need the, the cleanup help and everything afterwards, yes. too. Yep. It's, an so. all day, it's an all-day event. So you schedule the shifts for everybody to work, I presume? And, yeah. Uh, um, there, there's people that, that come and help out early in the morning just to get things plated up and, and set up. And then there are people that come to help actually... Uh, we we kind of use an assembly line process to to get each meal in the styrofoam containers, and then we send those out to be delivered or or to be picked up. And then once the people come uh, who are going to be dining in, uh, we actually serve them the food. And so we we have people that uh, that help serve and and uh, ser- wait on the tables and uh, do that. And then we have people cleaning up. Do you need to make a reservation if you're going to dine in? Um. Not necessarily, but it would it would help us out a lot just to know how many people to expect. Uh, you can call that same number, that 647-6094 number, uh, just to let us know that you you will be coming at 1215 to dine in and just how many people are coming. And um, But even if you forget to do that on that day, please come and we'd love to serve you. You'll make extra so you, you, you know. Oh, we always have plenty of food. Plan yeah. ahead. <laughs> yeah. So again, uh, the uh, delivery will be what, starting around 1115? Did you say that? Yes. Deliveries uh, typically take place between 1045 and 12. Okay. Uh, we have several different um, vehicles and drivers that are coming in and out and, and um, going on those deliveries. And then the carryout service, if you just want to come to the church and pick it up, that will be from 11.15 to 11.45. And like I said, we, we usually have a group of people that come from 11.15 to 11.30, and then again from 11.30 to 11.45, just to spread that out a little bit. Okay. Uh, what, is, what is the pastor's area of expertise that day? <laughs> just uh, to do what I'm told. Okay. <laughs> wherever they need me. I'll, Smart uh, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll just serve wherever. I, Back I'm off. Not a, yeah, I'm not an expertise at cooking, or uh, but I, I just love to serve wherever they need help and um, just spending that day with the volunteers, encouraging them, uh, fellowshipping with them. Uh, I'm I'm always so blessed. Sure. And you'll probably have a blessing that day, too, I would guess. Yes. You'll be yes. called upon for that. Yeah. So Good. So, again, if people want to get those reservations in, they can start now, preferably during uh, church office hours, too, to, to get those in? Uh, well, that, that number is actually a personal number. Oh, I see. Um, and so uh, just any time we ask between 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. to call, um, and just leave, again, leave a message and we will get back with you if we need to. Um, but if you leave a message, we'll make sure we, we have you down. And the deadline is the 23rd, you said. Yes. That gives you ample time. And, and or if it, maybe plans change, as they often do, maybe you yep. can give a call and, and make sure you have a meal. Yeah, that would be helpful. Good yep. deal. Well, we appreciate you coming by today. Yeah, thank you for having me, Phil. Yeah, I appreciate betcha. it. Pastor Jonathan Young uh, from the Church of the Nazarene here in Richland Center. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you.